All right, looking here at page seven and eight of Algebra 1100. I just had a student today actually reach out to me via the website, sent me an email and said, please, can you help me with this problem on page, uh, page eight? So let's look at what all is involved here. Notice we do have an equals here. Whenever I see an equals, I like to draw a line down the page to separate the two sides that are equal, all right? So on both sides, we can simplify by doing, in this case, some distributive property times both of these. Over here, I'm going to distribute times both of these. And again, I'm, I'm going to promise you the most common mistake is going to be with negative signs. But let's be careful and let's see what happens here. I'm going to keep this x. I'm going to distribute negative x. You say, why is that negative? Well, we can change this to plus negative 1. Okay, so I'm multiplying negative 1x times 3x. I get negative 3x squared. Negative 1x times negative 5x becomes positive 5x. Okay, keep the equals there. I'm going to keep the x. Again, I'm going to change that to negative 2. So x plus negative 2 times x squared, negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. All right, sometimes I write minus 2x, sometimes I write, you know, plus negative 2x, it's the same thing. So it's not, it's not like one's the right way, one's the wrong way. Sometimes it's easier to see it this way. Mathematicians, math teachers, your score key will probably have the answer like this. All right, minus x squared minus 14. Now, what I recommend you do is on each side, just kind of gather any like terms that you have. So let's just look over here, focus on this. Do we have like terms? Ah, right here and right here, correct? So I have negative 3x squared plus 1 plus 5 is 6x. All right, well, I have like terms over here. Well, I don't have another term with this one, so I just have 1, oops, actually here, I have x and negative 2x. Oh, so 1x plus negative 2x is negative 1x, all right, plus negative 2x and negative 1x, we can add these two together. You see that? They're like terms, negative 3x squared and then we'll tack on the negative 14. Now what's really cool, and I do this in a lot of these problems at this point because we're not trying to solve quadratic, quadratic equations. So this 3x squared is the same as over here. We could just cross it out. I like to instead say let's add 3x squared to both sides and then we can clearly see that it, we're adding the same thing to both sides and so it cancels out. All right. <clears throat> Let's try to get the x over here to this side. So we're solving for x. How can we get rid of 1x? The negative 1x, we can add positive 1x. We add the opposite and again that will cancel. So we could say 0 plus 0 minus 14, but we just get negative 14. Okay, so these canceled, we keep the negative 14 on this side, and now you can see that over here, 6x plus 1x gives you, I'm not going to finish that one, all right? You can take it from there, hopefully by getting to this point, we found some of your confusion and helped clear that up for you.